Okay, so the new shared value visa is called an anti woke visa. Basically, Putin is opening up the doors to a list of countries that are heading the wrong way. He calls it neoliberalism, you know, wokeism, and people who are fed up with it, who feel like it's a dangerous thing in their country and they want to leave, uh, mm -hmm. they can go to Russia. Now, just to preempt anyone that would call me, uh, I don't know what they would call me, but any particular name, uh, I have no intention of going to Russia other than maybe to have a, a nice tourist time or a mission trip. But um, because I personally have seen, like I've never been to Russia, but I've seen thousands of Russians leave Russia. Mm -hmm. They keep flowing into Thailand. They love to go and retire in Thailand. So if Russia is a great destination, then I would think, why are they doing that? Why don't they stay? And the other issue that you've got to consider, and this visa is very interesting. I do want to get to this and explain to people, but um, you just got to be careful because if you if you just migrate or get this visa and you become permanent resident in in Russia, you probably will be setting yourself up as a toxic person in the eyes of the Western nations. So as long as we have something to do in the West, ministry, business, right, life, then I think this is um, this is not something you just jump into. But with your perspective, what do you think? That, uh, he's offering anyone to come into Russia, no need for uh, knowledge of Russian language, Russian culture, uh, none of the normal requirements. All it is is you have to sign a statement, kind of like a statement of faith, that you will uphold Russian values. And the first one is you must be pro-life, all right, anti-abortion, if you want to say it that way. You've got to be pro-family. You've got to believe that spiritual things matter more than material things. I thought that's fascinating because here in America, I was talking with Clay Clark and wondering what is the problem here when we're supposed to be a Christian nation and yet Christian businessmen, they don't go to church. They don't want to attend um, any of the spiritual stuff, like even at Reawaken or his business conference. They would rather just stick with the you know money making side of things. So, uh, what do you think? Is this is Russia the enemy, or is Russia more Christian than the USA? You know, having been born in Russia, going back many times with my family, again visiting family and friends, Russia is a very it's a really it's really a Christian nation, very family oriented, very pro life, uh, very pro God. There's a lot of Christians, like I said, but there's also a lot of Jews as well. Of course, there was a lot of anti Semitism during communism. Actually, there was a lot of anti religion during communism, Christians included. You know, they they really came after the pastors, uh, Jewish leaders, doctors, anyone that has an intellectual mind. But I would say, you know, this is a great thing. Of course, I think it's uh, it's great to open up the country. Obviously, there's a lot of vitriol against Russia with, with what's happening in Russia, Ukraine. I, I, I try to be careful talking about it because I have family in both places. I'm praying for both countries, you know, as many as, as many good things that you know, President Putin has done. There's some things that, man, I wish he really was radically saved. So um, so I'm praying for both. You know, I'm praying for just like I'm praying for Joe, President Joe Biden. I'm praying for President Trump. So you know, the Lord said partiality is a sin. So we have to pray for both. We have to bless our enemies. But regarding this visa, I think it's great. I think it's wonderful that he's opening it up. I mean, I had some people that I know actually visit Russia and came back to America during this war. And I've heard some of their American citizenship was revoked. Maybe wait after the war, but it, it's a beautiful, beautiful nation. Yeah. Are you talking about the war with the US? Or are you talking about the war with Ukraine? <laughs> I'm talking about the war between Russia and Ukraine right now. Um, it's uh, there's a perilous times there on, you know, on the border. So uh, it's um, it's heartbreaking to see what has occurred the last few years. So I'm praying that the Lord really get to uh, President Putin and also President Zelensky. And uh, I pray the fear of the Lord on both of them to really uh, find Jesus, really get saved and really help their nations. Because I have to tell you, there's a lot of people fleeing Russia because of the lack of the constitution, right? We have an American constitution. We have freedom of speech, freedom of religion. Uh, even though they have freedom of religion, it's not really freedom of speech. You know, the journalists go missing or journalists end up getting killed, uh, found dead in the street. So unfortunately, there is still very much a communist tone over the nation, although GMOs are banned, right? Anyone that farms GMO crops, they're put in jail. You know, any pro-life is, is, they're pro-life, they're pro, they're anti-abortion. So there's a lot of good things that President Putin has done, but there's also and I, I don't mind calling it out when I see it.